Okay, the moose is loose, and I'm Moosey Wilson, talking to you today about presents. Not presents that you get underneath the Christmas tree, but presence of mind. What do I mean by presence of mind? I mean... Are you in control of your mind or is something else? I want to refer you to the wonderful spiritual teacher Eckhart Tolle and his book The Power of Now and his second book A New Earth and his third book Stillness Speaks because everyone needs to have these books in their house and they need to be um, on your coffee table or right in front of where you hang out all day. And they need to stay there. Don't put them on a bookshelf or put them away in a the closet. They need to be there all the time. Because everyone on planet Earth has issues with All of the things that Eckhart Tolle talks about. Everyone on the planet needs to have a reminder about this. About being present in the now moment. And about the number one thing that pulls you out of the now moment. What is that, Moosey? It is... A part of your ego that is called the pain body, it is a thing that triggers you. It is a thing that makes you angry. It is a thing that makes you do things that later on you regret having done. And you wonder, I don't know what came over me. And if you read The Power of Now, for example, you will come to understand that what did come over you, and something definitely did come over you, you were possessed by a negative entity that Eckhart Tolle calls the pain body. And basically all the humans on planet Earth have the same problem. They get possessed by the pain body and we end up having a lot of chasing our tails because as Justice Barrymore told me many years ago, maybe not that many years ago, but um, the devils are inside of you. And he said that to me. And what did it do? It triggered my pain body. And it's been uh, years for me to, I just woke up with this today, that um him telling me that the devils are within me triggered a pain body attack that I didn't see. I didn't see it because when someone says to you, you've got devils inside of you, the pain body gets activated and say, not my pain body, or not my devils. The devils are inside of you, Justice. And it's true, the devils are inside of Justice but they're inside of me and they're inside of you. There is nobody on the planet. Even if you think, oh, you know, some some enlightened being, I don't know, like Eckhart Tolle, doesn't have a pain body. Everyone does. Because these pain bodies move from one of us to another one of us. And within us, we are connected to everyone else on the planet. The old saying, was it? And it doesn't matter who it was. No man is an island. No woman is an island. No child is an island. We are all connected. And if we're in a room, well, we seem to be connected, you know, through outside, looking out, hearing outside one another. But, you know, we all have this sense of intuition where, you know, it's like an internal sense of what's going on connecting us to other people. And if we have this intuition that works, 
at great distances, it means we are connected, which means that these pain bodies are connected. So you cannot say, uh, I've dealt with my pain body and I'm free of it. No. As long as there is one of us that has a pain body, all of us have got pain body. And for the great QAnon conspiracy theories and every other conspiracy conspiracy theory where we are pointing a finger at someone else, it all relates back to the pain body because people who are pointing the finger at, you know, it's that person, Hollywood celebrity, you know, that's doing this. It's uh, those bankers. It's the government. And over here, it's my mother-in-law. And back there, it's my neighbor with the barking dog. It's like, no, that is your possession by a pain body that is a very unhappy entity. And it is complaining about everything outside of this, your body. Sometimes it complains about your body too. Like, I'm too fat, or, you know, I've got ugly hair, or... You know, I'm stupid. Um, all of these things that are self-criticism, that is also pain body. So it's an enormous issue. And the number one way to deal with pain body is to realize it afflicts you. It's great to let everybody else know about it. And I just made a bunch of posts in a bunch of Facebook groups. But I have to remember it affects me. It affects me. It affects me. So it's my issue to deal with when I'm attacked by pain bodies and other people around. I have to respond. And the way you respond to a pain body is you have to get... <sighs> into a meditative state. You have to go to your own room, lie down on your bed, put on a blankie, and meditate. Just meditate, which means you have to watch what's going on in your mind. Do you have thoughts in your mind that are making you want to, I need to run downstairs and do laundry. I need to clean the apartment. I need to go to the grocery store. I need to go for a run. I need to go to the gym. I need to phone my mother. I need to plan a trip to Cuba. I need I need I need to watch TV. I need to listen to this album. I haven't listened to it for a million years. I got to go listen to this music. All of these thoughts are running around your head like a bunch of hamsters on a hamster wheel. They're running around, running around, and you have to watch them, and you have to be present here. And breathing, if you have to breathe, because if it, sometimes it feels very heavy, and you got to breathe and intend to breathe and focus on your body and he, be here with this pain. Because this, these, these hamster wheels, these, you think, oh, they're not pain. I want to listen to me. They're pain. Because they're all things that make you want to get up and do something. When what you really need to do is meditate, which means be here with these hamsters going around, breathing until these hamsters sit down and stop running and calm down and vanish. Those thoughts that are running around your head and the feelings in your body like, I'm so full of energy, i got to go run it out. You need to sit with it. Everyone is going to say, no, I need to run it. No, you need to sit with it. Because running is only a band-aid. It's a band-aid. You have to dissolve these intense feelings that you got to do something. But really what you have is you have to be something. You have to be here, be here, be here. And you have to watch intensely and be here because that is how you dissolve these hamsters that are running around on that hamster wheel around and around. And they're running around in your stomach, making you sick. And they're out picturing as every single disease there is. Every disease, aging, 
cancer, heart disease. I have fibromyalgia, skin irritations, upset stomach, arthritis. Everything is traced back to pain body. How do I know this? It is the fact. It is the fact. It Because everything is consciousness. You know, everything is consciousness. And the number one thing in consciousness that is uh, causing us trouble are these pain bodies. So we have to dissolve them. That's basically how we're going to cure everything from the common cold to dropping dead. We have to be present every single day and we have to take time out and do our daily meditation in the morning when we get up and at nighttime and probably during the day if you've got extra time. Maybe at lunchtime you need to get away, go to a quiet place. Maybe there's a nice picnic area outside of your work where you can just sit by yourself, enjoy the sunshine and be in a meditative position. In other words, sitting there on the picnic table, breathing, close your eyes, be focused on what's going on in my mind, what's going on in my body. I must stay present. That's how you cure pain body, by being here and sitting with it and knowing it's there and it can take years, decades of your life. You never can let go because everyone else has got the same issue. And if you do your meditation, it helps everyone. So if you want to help all of the people on the planet and serve other people, best thing you can do, meditate today, meditate tonight, meditate tomorrow, meditate tomorrow night. Keep planning to meditate and get a copy of Ucker Tall's books and leave them all over your house to remind you this is why we are doing it. We're doing it because we have to dissolve these pain bodies. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share. I am known as Moosey Wilson.